This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Agitavach, Matsoi Shabbos, Pashas Tetzave, Matsoi Shushan Purim. Tonight is the third day of the Purim HaMeshulash in Eretz Yisrael. La Yehudim, Haisa Oira, Vesimcha, Vesasa, Mikar, Chazal Darshan, La Yehudim, Haisa Oira, they had Toira, Vesimcha, they had Yamtif. The Sasain, they had Mila, Vikar, they had Tefillin. And the question is, they always had these things. These mitzvahs were not in danger at all. Haman did not decree to abolish these mitzvahs. Never was there a time that these mitzvahs were not observed. So what do Chazal mean that now Klal Yisrael had Torah, and they had Yom Tif, and they had Mila, and Tefillin, they always had it. They were never in jeopardy. Says Rabbi Shimon Schwab, yes, they learned Torah, but the Torah they were learning lacked oil, it lacked light. The Yom Tif lacked Simcha. Their Mila lacked Sasain, Vikar, they were Tefillin, but the Tefillin lost their glory. So I want to speak about this uh, Indian, the glory of Tefillin, because we too, we all wear Tefillin, but perhaps there's something lacking in the glory of our Tefillin. This week's parasha we read about the Tzitz, and the Torah says, the Tzitz had to be al Mitzach Aharoin Tamid. The Pasuk says that it had to be the nu- on his forehead, Tamid Leratzain Lefnei Hashem. It said the word Tamid. So there's a Machlekes in the Gemara. What does it mean, Tamid? Some say it meant that even though the Kohen Gadol didn't always wear the tzitz, if he wasn't doing the Avoida, he didn't wear the tzitz, but the tzitz was always Meratze. It always brought atonement. But the Gemara brings the opinion that the tzitz did not always bring up atonement. It only, wore, it only brought atonement when the Kohen Gadol was wearing it. So why does it say the word Tamid by the tzitz? And the Gemara says that this opinion holds that one is required while wearing the tzitz always to be focused on the tzitz. One cannot be Mesiach Das from the tzitz. There are two different opinions brought in the Gemara in Yuma, Zayin Amad Beis and the Gemara Menachas, Lamed Vav Amad Beis. The Gemara says, Tamid Laratz and Lefnei Hashem Mait Tamid? Ilema tamid al mitzchai mi meshkachas la mi loy boi mea la beis hakisei mi loy boi meinas. In other words, uh, things happen in life. People, the kongala is not always wearing the tzitz el tamid meratzahu. Says Gemara or the Rabbi Huda Nami. It says tamid. Hahu tamid shlo yasiach daitem imenu. One is required while wearing the tzitz not to divert your mind. In other words, one has to be focused on the tzitz and realize that one is doing the Avoida wearing the tzitz. And then the Gemara brings an amazing extrapolation from this halacha. Kid Rabba Barav Huna. Da Amar Rabba Barav Huna. Chayiv Adam Lemashmesh Betfilav Bechol Shavasha. One is obligated to always touch his tefillin. You see people, they, they sort of handle their tefillin and they, and they kiss it. Well, one is obligated to do that. Why? Kavachoy Mer Mitzitz. It's a a fortiori argument from the tzitz. Says the Gemara, Umat tzitz she'im boy ela askara achas. If the tzitz only has one mention of Hashem's name, all the tzitz has is Kodesh Hashem. God's name is mentioned once. Amra Torah al mitzchay tamid. The Torah says you have to always be focused on the tzitz. Shlo yaseh da'it to mimenu. Tefillin sheish ben askara is harvei tefillin that has many mentions of Hashem's name. Al achas kama v'kama. All the more so. The, so. the Gemara is saying something astounding. The Gemara is saying that we would expect one to think that oh, who could be on a higher madriga than the Kain Gado wearing the tzitz, this golden plate on his head that says the Shem HaMafayrash, it says the Yud Kevavke. Nevertheless, the Gemara makes the Kava Chaymer from the tzitz, that if while wearing the tzitz one cannot be Mesir Das from the tzitz, then Tfilin that has Hashem's name 42 more times, 42 times more, in the Tefillin, Shalyad, there are 21 Askaris of Hashem's name, in Tefillin, Shalyad, there are 21 Askaris of Hashem's name, Al Achas Kama V'Kama, one has to be Noyeg B'Kedusha in Tefillin, in other words, the Kedusha of Tefillin is 40 times more than the Tzitz, because the Tzitz only has one mention of Hashem's name. Now, one has to stop and think about the implication of this Gemara, because Tefillin is something we wear every day. And perhaps we don't treat it with the same reverence as we treat the tzitz. And the Gemara is saying we shouldn't. 
we should treat the tefillin with greater reverence. In other words, the requirement to focus your mind on the idea that you're wearing tefillin is more of an imperative than shalayasiach dats menatzitz. According to the simple reading of the Gemara, there would be a doiraisa not to divert your mind from the wearing of tefillin. Now, truth be told, there is a machloikis in the Rishonim whether this is doiraisa or drabanum because Tosfos asks, wait a second, the tzitz has Hashem's name revealed tefillin, the names are covered. And don't say it's referring to the shakai of the tefillin, the shin on the tefillin shalrosh, and the dalit of the nat, because the dalit and the yud are not halachal moshem sinai. Furthermore, as Taisus, on the tzitz, there's a shem hamiyuchar of the dalit oisiyos. So Taisus says it's not a kavachaymer gemura, it's only midra banan, it's just... Since the tefillin has its sad chashivos a little bit more, because it has more mentions of Hashem's name, so the chachamim should be misakin that you should not divert your mind from the tefillin. But the, the Ritva seems to say that this kavachim is dairaisa, that even though there are advantages of the tefillin, in, in other words, regarding kedusha and other items and other areas, the tzitz is more chamor, because, of course, only the Kain Gadol wears it, and you only wear in the Mikdash. Nevertheless, regarding the Indian of Hesa Hadas, the Azkaris of Hashem's name are Goyreim, that the Indian of not being Meseach Das from Tefillin is more Chamor than not being Meseach Das from the Tzitzah. It seems like from the Ritva that this is a Dinda Oiraisa. So, perhaps there's an area that we all should try our, our best to be Mechazik in, and that is. Certainly for Kohen Gadol, was wearing a tzitz and he pulled his phone out of his pocket and he checked a message on his phone while wearing the tzitz, it would be appalling to most people and most people would find it extremely offensive for somebody wearing the name of Hashem on his head to divert his mind, violate a dairaisa, to look at some nonsensical message or chat or picture on his phone. Well, it should be even more appalling if somebody sees someone in a Beis HaKnesses pulling out a phone to check a message or to check an email or to check some kind of ridiculous picture that he got, firstly, according to many Rishonim, it's an Iser Dairaisa, and it's for sure an Iser Midivrei Gemara to check your phone while wearing tefillin. There's <laughs> nothing around it. So you say that's not called Hesachadas. So you need to learn the sugi. I'll look in the Shagasari, Simon Lamentes, where the Shagasari Paskins like the Ramban, the Rambam, and the... And the Torah also brings that being Mesiach Das from Tefillin is not just joking around, but if somebody has any other kind of diversion, if someone is in a bad mood, the Ram the Rambam says you can't put on Tefillin because you're being Mesiach Das from Tefillin. In other words, it's not just a levity is a Hesach Das, but literally being involved in anything which diverts your mind from the idea that you're wearing Tefillin is an Isser Midivrei Gemara, and according to Rishonim, it's an Isser Midai Raisa. And therefore, it behooves us to be mechazek ourselves not to bring the phone into Beis HaKnesses or at the very least that it has to be off because even if your phone vibrates and you think, oh, who's messaging me? Is it my, my sister, my brother-in-law, my mother-in-law, the, my first cousin or the President of the United States? That's also diverting your mind from the tefillin. But recognize that if somebody accepts this Kabbalah Kedosha of not... Uh, bringing their phone into the shul or having it off, they're able to ensure that their tefillin have yikar, glory. The tefillin only have glory if they're treated with the proper respect. And according to the Gemara, the Gemara is saying and that the kedusha of the tefillin in this sense is greater than the tzitz. Now, just to conclude with uh, a beautiful idea, Rabbi Machai, Rabbi Machai in Parshat Shuma says that there are three parts of the Mishkan. You have the Chatzar, you have the Kodesh, where the Menorah, the Shulchan, and the Zbeach was, and you have the Kodesh HaKadoshim. They correspond to the three parts of the world. The Chatzar corresponds to the Olam Hoasia, this world. The Kodesh corresponds to the skies, the Shamayim. The Menorah, which is the great luminary, corresponds to the skies, where the luminaries are. And the Holy of Holies, where the Cheruvim were, they correspond to the Olam HaMalachim. Likewise, in the human being, there are three parts. The lowest part, 
the digestive tract, which co- corresponds to this earthly world that corresponds to the Chatzar, where the, the Karbanis were consumed. Then you have the internal organs, that corresponds to the Kodesh, which corresponds to the Shamayim. And the Holy of Holies, which corresponds to the world of Malachim, corresponds to the head. Says Rabbeinu Bechaye, HaKadosh Baruch Hu rests on, in the mind, on the head of the Tzaddik, through his tefillin. In other words, this may give us some insight why the tefillin, in fact, is holier than the tzitz. Because while the tzitz is Kodesh Lashem, the tefillin is Kodesh HaKadoshim. The tefillin is literally Kodesh HaKadoshim, the Holy of Holies. The tzitz is only Kodesh. The tefillin is the Holy of Holies. And as careful as we would be with the tzitz, we have to be even more careful with the tefillin. And I doubt anyone would bring their phone into the Kodesh HaKadoshim, even in an off position. I, I highly doubt anybody would do that. At the very least, it gives us um, second thought and third thought about our practice uh, in the Beis HaKnesses. And Be'ezus Hashem, for mechazik ourselves, to ensure that we give ourselves the best chance to have that cognizance and awareness that we're wearing the tefillin, our tefillin will be restored with their full glory. Vikar elu tefillin, may we be zoicha to guard the tefillin b'kedusha. V'ro'u kol amei ha'aretz kishem Hashem nikra alecha v'yaru mimeka elu tefillin shabaroish. We should be zoicha to oira simcha v'sasam vikar kein tiyalanu. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.